and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kinku Elusives for our first deck today. Have a special day today. This is we're calling this Allegiance Day. Uh, basically, we're playing all Allegiance decks today. We're not playing uh, Vanguard Bannerman because you know we do a lot of Bannerman anyway. But the other five regions, we're gonna be playing their Allegiance cards. We're gonna start off with a plain old Tier One deck with Kinku Elusives. Of course, this is Kinku Wayfinder, the Ionia Allegiance card. Um, so you know we're we're gonna start off. Uh, not going crazy and, and playing a nice normal tier one deck. After this, the next three decks are all going to be uh, new decks. Uh, Riders aggro based on the Noxus uh, Allegiance card. In Intrepid Scavenger for P uh, Piltover and Zahn. Outriders midrange is the Frel Yord uh, card. Averroes and Outriders. So we'll have um, so we'll have those based on those decks, and then we'll end with Shadow and Nivia. Um, a deck that I like to play that has uh, Wraith Callers and the Shadow Isles Allegiance card. But anyway, this, this deck, of course, as you know, isn't anything too special. It, um, we have six Freljord cards in our Ionia deck, and six is the most that I went with any of these, these new decks also. So we have, we have no more than six is the most that we have of the Splash Color in any deck. Okay, uh, but let's... Let's get started. Um, here we go. Kinku Elusives. So you know, kind of, kind of get our warm up act in. You know, play, play the nice tier one deck for our warm up act. <clears throat> and going back to five. Five decks again today. Feeling pretty good. Let's see. I think we mulligan these two and keep these, but the Conspirator, when you don't have Omen Hawk, isn't nearly as good. Maybe we just get rid of it and just keep the Green Glade duo and see what's up. Hmm. Those are not the best cards to draw into. I'm glad I mulliganed the other Navori Conspirator. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. This is not really anything that we need. Oh, I need to go grab our Ionia board and stuff. This is our, our Ionia deck. Alright, uh, hope they don't have Elixir of Iron, Brittle Steel doesn't save, you know, Brittle Steel doesn't help them if they have Brittle Steel. Which looks like that's, that might have been like the card that they had was Brittle Steel. Let's go Wayfinder. Oh no, Wayfinder missed. No. Our Allegiance Day is already... Already not working out. We already missed on our very first allegiance trigger. Can see the Devastian border from here. Boo. I will unite the Frail Yord. Ash. I don't know if that's worth it. I'm definitely going to be playing Conspirator this turn and picking up Wayfinder so we can Wayfinder again. And therefore, yeah, I think I think it probably is worth it. Yeah, yeah, you definitely play um, Elixir of Iron and Omen Hawk in this deck, absolutely. It's worth it. Those one drops. Take care of it. 
So doing this means I don't get to play Conspirator this turn. But next turn we will have the six mana to be able to play both. Could have also just blocked Sentry. Okay, good. This just gives me some other like blockers down on the ground for like these other things too. So yeah, there's the brittle steel that they've had this whole time. Um. Oh, shatter. Okay. You don't see shatter too often, but it works there. It's all right. Our, our little green glade duo got a two for one, so that's cool. Line up. So there still are two more one drops in the deck. One hawk, one scout. Looking for a damn skinny. Averroses, stand together. Why would Sentry not attack? I don't really know what's going on over here. Why would why would you just not attack with the Sentry? Cool. It's just a 3-1, not really worth keeping alive, but... That's weird. And then we can go Hatchling. And really pump up all these elusives. It was right on my tail. So even if they have harsh winds, they still take 12. Problem is if they have harsh winds. Darn. Say, the problem is if they do have harsh winds, then that's going to be leveling up this ash. This is not good. Today we fight as one. Okay. Not even playing ash, just going straight to attacks. This one's trouble. Hmm. Or have you just trade there? Trade here. Trade here. Go down to three. They're gonna have three pump spell. Not super likely. So let's see, that's gonna put in three creatures. Oh, uh, would it give me five? I play this, we have six. Hmm, I guess I can't play this, but we'll have that, that, that. Okay, that's good. I think not. Oh, well, Wayfinder would have whiffed again. Hey, Dark Tides, we would have hit the Omen Hawk. They'll never see me coming. These old eyes still 
safe bar. <laughs> All right, we got four lethal attackers. There we go. Too elusive. Too elusive. We're starting off with the best deck today. The best of our five decks. We're starting off with the best one. So Babbling Bjerg is thematically my favorite card. That's a good one, yeah. That is a really good one. Like that one too. That yeah, that's a good choice. So right now, if I keep Conspirator, it's basically five mana draw you know, two two flyer draw card, it's a five mana shadow assassin. Basically. Hope we draw Omen Hawk. It's, it's not easy to make masters in this game. It's not easy, but... Um, I feel like they're going to uh, shoot both of these with the, with the four mana card. Um, I got the kids. But, you know, you just you just basically pick pick a deck that you like and play it a lot and uh, you know learn it inside and out. Good job, what's your Byron? Um, somebody earlier asked for the link for the link to like the best decks. There we go. Oh, metagame's not a command. Let me add add this command in here. Uh, they're just passing. Is this a, a command? Meta? Oh. That's what I want to change, okay. Do I, do I want to Twin Disciplines and save the Conspirator? I guess so. It's kind of like just saving it from a removal spell, you know, same thing. Other option would have been just to play the Green Glade Duo. That, that was my other option. This turn. Hey, Krabby. That's my 
interesting phase. But we'll save it. Now we got our five mana. We can double spell with these. Good thing we didn't play Wayfinder. We would have missed again. <laughs> yeah, not doing the puff cap Wayfinder. Uh, even though, as you know, that's that's my favorite deck, but it's it's a little bit less of an allegiance deck. I don't like these Shadow Assassins. They're really good against me. I think they're waiting for me to play another one drop. You know, as you can tell, they didn't kill this. I, I really def like. I definitely think they have the. They have the four mana static shock. Um, they're waiting for me to play another one drop before they're gonna play it. Otherwise, they would have made that block. I can only assume. Kind of signals that they have another one that they didn't wait for me to replay Omen Honk. <clears throat> so next turn we'll have nine mana. We're going to be playing this Wayfinder, and then we'll still have Will of Ionia or um, Twin Disciplines available. Man, I would have whiffed again. Good thing we waited. Alright, got a 3-3 three, three Omen Hawk. they have another one of those. It's gonna make everything a lot more difficult for me. So Ezreal is at six out of eight right now. Hey WQ. Howdy howdy. Happy Friday, end of the regular work week. You cannot escape. Hey, good job. You got master earlier today. Nice. It's yeah, you just hit diamond. You know, just earlier in the week. You know, like th I think that was Monday or Tuesday, and you're saying that. That was your goal this this week, so got in just a few days. Very nice. Yeah, congrats. Be tough to finish this game out. Okay, you you, you stand alone mid range and got uh, five straight wins. Nice. It's 
Good card. <laughs> Check me out. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Extra hands never hurt. No, I wouldn't say that this is a budget deck. Alright, Bounce and Ezreal so they don't get to play it again this turn. They don't have the 2-4 blocker. They don't do the 2 damage to me. With it being out, we can go right to attacks where they don't have the 2-4 the in play. Thought about bouncing my own 2-1 and then replaying it. I'd like to draw a defensive spell, like deny... Gosh, Zed's... <sighs> Are we supposed to just go straight to attacks and not play Zed? Seems silly. So I go straight to attacks. They have their 2-1 block my 5-6, the 4-3 block... I don't know, the 2-3 or something. Let's see, they take 3, 4, 5, 6. They basically have to chump the 5-6. And so then they can eat, like, the 2-3... The or they could just trade here and eat. No, so if they trade here, they have to chump over there. But then I don't do like I, I'm not. I don't have lethal damage. And then they just untap, or like then then they just play Ezreal post combat, and then they play stuff post combat, and then untap and play more stuff, and I I'm gonna lose. So we might as well play the Zed. It, going straight to attacks, I lose. So might as well play Zed. Uh, we're still likely going to lose, but. I would just go right to attacks, we would definitely lose. Um, sure, I think attacks for two. This thing only attacks for one, even though it is an elusive unit. Oh, that hurts. But yeah, we would have definitely died. Ugh, that hurts even more. This would be them taking a seven. But there they Yeah, I saw the new card, the new the new champion. It looked great. Thermogenic theme, right? Yeah, thermogenic theme. What should the command be? Uh, maybe spoiler? There you go, there's the, the imager that has all the cards. 
Um, well. Gotta you know, gotta play this. Have a blocker. That was that was definitely a really good draw. That's definitely a really good draw for us. So let's see. Right now we're at. Oh no. Well, now we're dead. Sounds dangerous. That thing does eight damage. That's real pretty good. So I guess that wasn't a good draw. I needed a cheaper elusive card to block. There you go. I, yeah, Rex, I put the link there. So that the Imgur has all the all the revealed cards. So you just scroll down. Uh, let's see. Jewel Protector would have been a great card to have last game, but I guess they had Will of Ionia. Garen Lucian. I think I kind of want to just keep all this stuff. Could see Mole getting the Jewel Protector, but Jewel Protector is pretty great. Basically, 7-7 seven, seven, seven worth of stats on two bodies for 5 mana. It is pretty great. this works out that we're just spending one mana this turn so we can uh, have the other mana for Elixir of Iron to protect Zed and still, you know, curve out three, four, five with this one extra mana for the Elixir of Iron. So this works out really well. There's no way they're not attacking. I want that. Okay, never mind. I guess there is a way they don't attack. They're gonna trade Senna away and level up Lucian. Stand down. That's good. I don't know exactly what we're doing here against this leveled up Lucian. Uh, I think just my previous turn was probably pretty poor. Mm. 
no, I, I won't be rank one. I'm done with that for a while. Um, focus in on the, the new set for Legends of Runeterra instead. This game also has a new set coming out here this month. So I have I'm not going to be hatchling the next turn. We will the turn after. Looking for a no, I'm not Void Rose. It's the same. We don't want to do very much combat on the ground with them having a, a Lucian that whenever their stuff dies, they rally. So we we want to be having our attacks in the air. Ideally. It's easier said than done. Attacking like this means we get three, we get three damage in, puts them to eight. So next, so we jewel protector this hatchling, and now it's eight powered. So my next attack, uh, you know, the hatchling by itself can maybe win this this game. You know, we can have um, elixir of iron and twin disciplines protect it. So they fight here, they get to rally. Um, I think I saved the Elixir of Iron to protect Hatchling. I, don't, I mean, Hatchling's at 8-6, so I don't, I don't know if that's really that important. Have some life to use as a resource to try to help keep me alive. Soldier, to me. I am the place in the darkness. In the name of our land. Or Zed's a chump blocker. Possible I shouldn't have um won't get away. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Really hope they don't have a single combat. Okay, good. I am a true master. Hope that's it. If they can, if they can kill one of their creatures somehow, they get another attack. All right, good. And now we got Windfarer Hatchling with Twin Disciplines and Elixir of Iron backup. As far as double attack, there's uh, also, uh, besides, is it 
Eight. Uh, there's Senna also, Senna and Lucian. I think those are the only two. No, come on. They had two single combats, they already used one. Man, 11 toughness wasn't good enough. Oh wait, it was good enough. What am I what am I saying? Man, I I feel like a jerk. I just cry I did, did the cry emote, but I, I thought that was I thought I was still going to die. Wow, I did not do math in my head very well. I thought it was still dead. Poor opponent. Oh man, I feel bad for my opponent. Oh man, that was a jerk. Ugh. I thought I lost though, but I just did the math wrong in my head. We were going to 11 and, and dealing and only dealing uh, 10, but yeah, I don't know. So anyway, next game. I'm keeping the first three cards. It's the Twin Disciplines. Um, I'm not sure about the Twin Disciplines. I'll replace it, but I may feel bad for replacing it. Yeah, basically the same card. New recruit reporting in. Hey, Action Jackson. What's up? Happy Friday. I long for a worthy opponent. Well, this isn't great. So if they attack with warships and Fiora, to have the Fiora be four power. Then we at least get to kill the warships with, with whatever they don't uh, challenge. Do go. no All right, so we're hungry. killing warships here, go? and I'm going to elixir this thing. So Fiora is going to turn into a three-one. We trade. Oh man, our Allegiance Day is not, <laughs> we are not hitting on all cylinders with our Allegiance Day. That's like our third win. Walk softly, strike quickly. So that means we have either the third Elixir of Iron or the second Omen Hawk on top. Like, there is only. One banner, uh, one destiny. You know, there's only three out of 32 cards there. You know, so less than 10% chance of us whiffing. Okay. Well.
Play Jewel Protector here. I don't have any kind of protection for against Fiora. But we also have to worry about staying alive. Staying alive. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Fall to our standard. Even though Fiora has just the two toughness, I think it's worth blocking because of the challenger. What was the point of that? Oh, I guess because it kills they trade now. Where before they weren't have traded. That was That was a horrible use of a Purify. A Purify is a really good card. We just played Jewel Protector, and we they know that we gave something plus three plus three. Why would they. That does not seem like a good use of a Purify. All right, so options. Play Green Glade Duo, and then Life Blade. We attack for eight, put them down to seven, or I get both Omen Hawks in play with the Duo. The Yordle here is with me. I, liked the I like the first option. The I like the second option, too. Soldier Basically, like to both me. options. All right, well, I'm glad we're going for this option. Omen Hawks not doing much blocking. Really glad they w wasted that Purify. That was a waste of a Purify. Yeah, usually the benefit of having another region is just really high, even if it's just like one to three cards, you know, like we're basically, we're playing, that's what we're basically doing today. We're playing mono region decks but they barely splash into other regions. This deck splashes in for six in six total cards, three elixirs, three omen hawks. Um, that's the I most that any of, any of these decks splash. You know, I'm splashing six or less cards, anywhere between six to three to six cards um, with each deck. So basically one or two cards and playing three copies each. Um, like the one deck that some people play that's like, just the one region, probably the most popular one is probably Demacia with the Bannerman and everything. Alright, we hope that the top card is an elusive ally. Kind of an elusive ally. But we, we knew it was going to be pretty big. Um, because of like those two Omen Hawks. Alright, there we go. Seven power. That game, we just won that game basically because my opponent... Um, because of the Purify move. What was our loss to? Oh, Ezreal. That's right. We lost Ezreal. All right, three and one. And let's go with match number five. No, this was our loss. Karma is. This card's definitely gone. Keep the others. Possible that I just shouldn't keep any one one toughness card, but at one mana and attacking for two, just a really good deal. <clears throat> It's not that good of a deal, I suppose. I don't really like Kinku Lifeblade here. I don't think the, the life steal is very important, so this is four mana, only attack for two. That is not a good deal. 
I really want jewel protectors. This is a good jewel protector matchup. I will play my part. You cannot escape. So far, we've traded away two creatures that um, that have traded. You know, like they've they've traded with other creatures. So <clears throat> that's good. The good thing is that they haven't traded with spells because the uh, spells trigger Ezreal, of course. They have four cards, I have six. That's the good news right now. I didn't keep it for for Zed because I kind of wanted to get some pressure on. I wasn't sure exactly if I was going to be playing Zed the next the next turn. Right now, um, and you know, like they had they had another removal spell. I, I'm fine. Like we we traded Elixir of Iron for a removal spell. It's you know what we can really ask for. Right now, uh, I like how we can play. Like I like playing Zed right here because if I feel like if I go if I play like Green Glade Duo first, they would play Karma. And I kind of want to incentivize them not to play Karma. Um, hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. And we're going to go all in, play the duo, then the Wayfinder. They're still at 20. Oh, come on. That was the perfect card. Another Static Shock. Man, that was perfect. You know, be a two for one, plus draw a card, plus get two triggers on the Ezreal. Uh, that was perfect. Yasuo, show yourself! The blade above all. Alright, do a little block there. So we've played. So there's two more Omen Hawks left in the deck as far as this goes. We just played three Omen Hawks that turn. Our next two units are going to be pretty big. As you can tell. All right, well, let's go hatchling. Let's go. Third jury rig. Third get excited. Down to eight. They just have the two cards. Ezreal is leveled up. We'll bring peace to Ionia. Bleh. Whatever the cost. Karma's also pretty great. I got the kids. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Check out the goods on this one. So 
Karma doubles up the spells. Probably not a good sign. We got a fourth jury rig. They got a jury rig from a karma. Hey, Storm, good evening. It's only they had two cards, now suddenly they have a million. Karma's really good. Yep, really good. Do not fear the shrouded path. We can play, replay the Zed, so we're going to do that. Two mana. So I can go for lethal. Like they're gonna have to they're gonna have to make some blocks, so we'll see what they do. But I can go for lethal with the the plus three plus zero. Okay, never mind. Karma off the battlefield at least. How they they gave their six one elusive, but they blocked the wrong creature. They blocked my four four, but it's only a four four for that turn. Uh, they really should have blocked the four two. They don't know what they're up against. Not making it easy on me. One shot, all skill. I'm not going to block also because they deny the will of Ionia, then they don't have the mana for Mystic Shot anyway.
have 10 mana. <laughs> yeah, 6-6 six, six lifelinker against mono red. That is pretty awesome. And we have we have our own Baneslayer Angel here. It's a 4-4 four, four lifelink flyer. Um, but we we usually combo it with this to give it plus three plus three, but I, I gave the plus three plus three to the Zed here because we're playing against control, so we don't we don't need to make a Bane Slayer. But that's that's definitely a big part of our deck. Come on. What's the third will of Ionia? Bouncing Zed. Shadow Shift. They're doing one damage to that thing. We're going to turn it into a 3-2. Uh, replace it. Oh, actually, the, the damage doesn't still happen to it anyway. But All right, hard fought to battle. Four and one. What a win. All right, so we went one and one against Karma Ez. And... And then a 3-0 against the other decks that we played against. One of our matches probably should have been a loss if, if my opponent would have saved. Like they they fired off a purify way too early. If they would have saved that purify. We probably would have lost it. But um, yeah, shadow shift definitely feels real good when it when it works like that. Um, yeah, that was pretty nice. That was a good draw. That Zed. Um. But there we go. See, just tried and true. I think last few, you know, last couple times playing this deck, we went four one both both times. Uh, it's just I like the, the two times I played it, but it's just a really good deck. It still is, even with uh, you know different nerfs. You know, the latest being the conspirator being two and two. I honestly think this deck is played less than than it is because people are kind of bored of it because it's just been a good deck for you know like basically two months now uh, ever since ever since they uh, changed the inspiring mentor and then that wasn't playable anymore and or as playable and uh, then we started splashing for omen hawk and whenever they made the uh, jewel protector awesome ever since then like this has just been a highly played deck and so i kind of feel like people are kind of bored of it a little bit and that's why it doesn't see as much play but uh, somebody asked earlier is this a is this a uh, budget deck and it, it kind of is a budget deck because there there's three champions zeds and you start with two zeds in your collection so you only need one extra zed <clears throat> the rest isn't like super easy to put together there's some of these rares you know like the light or the wayfinder is a rare and the jewel protector is a rare so you know like that's six rares there i guess it's pretty the duos are rares I guess that is a lot of commons, though, besides that. So it's pretty budget. And then your only epics are the hatchlings. So you just have one epic. So, yeah, like, this is a, a pretty good deck to, to just build right away. But there we go. All right, so that's our first Allegiance deck of the day. Now we got... So that was our, our good Tier 1 deck that we knew uh, was a good deck. And, uh, you know, going into this. Now we're going to have some brews that we're going to uh, be trying out and uh, who knows what's going to happen with our next decks. Uh, stay tuned to find out. Those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, you know leave a comment, but then also head on over to these next videos. But that's it here for Kinku Elusives. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.